We've all done it, right? We've come across that picture on Pinterest. We freaking love it. We take that picture to our hairdresser. They cut it exactly the same way. We come home and we hate it. We hate it. Why? Two reasons, face shape or hair texture. Today, we're gonna be talking about face shapes. If that sounds good to you, then give me a thumbs up on this video as that really, really helps me to grow the channel. Subscribe down below and keep on watching. Let's talk about a round face shape first. Oftentimes, people who have a round face shape will sit in my chair and they'll tell me that they have a fat face or that they have a chubby face and like, uh-uh, honey. You are cute as hell. A round face shape is characterized by an equal width to height of the face, and there are typically no sharp edges on the face. They're just a cute little cherub, perfect little round face. A celebrity that has this face shape is Jennifer Goodwin. She's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, she's got very delicate features, and it's completely round. There's no sharp lines, no sharp cheekbones, no sharp jawline. Everything is just soft and rounded. The next face shape is a diamond. A diamond face shape is characterized by a pointier forehead, a pointier nose, and the cheekbones are the sharpest, widest parts of the actual face. The main characteristic of this face is that it's very chiseled. If you have been told you have such a chiseled face, you could very well have a diamond face shape. When I worked in the Toronto fashion industry as a makeup artist and hairstylist, this was the face shape that I saw most often in models. A celebrity example of this face shape is Megan Fox. The next face shape is a heart face shape. So typically in a heart shaped face, the person has a bit of a widow's peak in the forehead with their hairline. Typically, the widest areas are in the forehead and in the cheekbones, and then it comes right down into a prominent pointy little chin. This is most characteristic of a princess face shape. So when you think of Disney princesses, they are often you know, drawn with these little heart face shapes. A really great celebrity example of a heart face shape is Reese Witherspoon. She's like the archetype of the heart face shape. The next face shape is a square face shape. So the most predominant dominant feature in the square face shape is its squared out jaw. So typically there's a bit of more of a squared out forehead, but the jaw and the jaw line has a really predominant square shape and that's how you can tell that that's that face shape. The most prominent celebrity that I can think of with a square face shape is Sandra Bullock. So you can see in her face how squared off her jawline really is. The oblong face shape is characterized by being predominantly longer than it is wide. So this is for someone that has a long face. This is my face shape. So I have a very, very long face, especially when my hair is back. You can tell that it's longer than it is wide and you typically have a rounded jaw area. So there's no squaring out in the jaw zone. It's just rounded. It's like an elongated oval pretty much. The celebrity that is known for having this face shape is Sarah Jessica Parker. And of course, we have the most boring face shape of all, which is also happens to be the most ideal face shape. This is the face shape that we all wanna have and that we always kind of change our hair to mimic. And that's the oval face, of course. There are no sharp lines. There are no very excessive chiseled zones. It's just really soft, rounded, and proportioned. A celebrity that has this face shape is Tyra Banks. As you can tell, everything is rounded. It's not too long. It's it's not too short, it's not too wide, it's just even and boring. <laughs> we all want this face shape, we know we do. All right, let's play the celebrity face shape game. Celebrity number one, Liv Tyler. What's her face shape? If you guessed oblong, you are right. So Liv Tyler is a really good example of a celebrity that has an oblong face shape. And we can tell because it looks like a stretched out oval. It's predominantly longer than it is wide. Celebrity number two is Jessica Alba. If you guessed oval, you are right. Jessica Alba is considered one of the most beautiful celebrities in Hollywood, and you can tell because her features are perfect. She's very proportioned, nothing's too sharp, nothing's too square, nothing's too chiseled. She just has a beautiful, soft, perfect little face. Celebrity number three is Scarlett Johansson.
If you guessed diamond, you are right. So you can tell that the most prominent feature on Scarlett Johansson's face is her very chiseled cheekbones. Her forehead comes in, her cheekbones come out, and then her chin comes right back in. The next celebrity is Gwyneth Paltrow. If you guessed square, you are right. I always try to understand a square face by looking at the jawline. So if you look at Gwyneth's jawline, you can see that it comes out and up very much like the shape of a square. A square face shape for me is a dead giveaway when looking at the jawline. The next celebrity is Chrissy Teigen. If you guessed round, then you guessed right. You can tell that her face is equal in width as it is height, and it is nice and soft and rounded with a rounded jawline. And our last celebrity is Hayden Panettiere. If you've already done a process of elimination, then you will know that she has a heart face shape. You can tell that her forehead and her cheekbone are the widest areas and then it comes into a pointy little chin. So let's talk about the best haircut for your face shape. If you have a round face shape, what you're gonna wanna do is minimize volume or width this way and maximize length. When you maximize length and minimize volume, you create the illusion that the face is longer than it is. So you can look at something like this. So in this example, we have a wispy fringe that's cut below the brows, which is giving the illusion of length. Whereas if you had like a baby bang cut above the brows, you're giving the illusion of shortness, right? So you're shortening the face up. When you elongate the fringe, you elongate the face. The hair itself in this example has minimal volume, but lots of length, just like we talked about. If you have a diamond face shape, what you tend to want to do is widen the jawline and minimize the cheekbone. Now I go back and forth with this because I think a diamond face shape is stunning. It's like the supermodel face shape. So I don't necessarily think you need to transform a diamond face shape into an oval face shape or even feel the need to do that with your haircut. But if the width of your cheekbone versus your chin is something that is bothering you, then what you wanna do is add width down here and minimize width here. So a really good haircut for doing that is the lob. Once you do a nice blunt lob, you start to widen down here and soften over here. So that, that kind of solves the problem if that's something that you're feeling you're not liking with your haircuts because of that face shape. If you have a square face shape, the goal here again is to make it look oval. So we want to soften up the square lines. What you don't want to do is have a haircut that stops right at the jawline because that's going to bring a lot of attention towards that shape. What you want to do is have longer styles that have soft layers and movement. So a long layered haircut cut is kind of the best option for a square face shape. It just softens up the lines when you have movement and also elongates the lines when you have length. If you have a heart face shape, what you're going to want to do again is widen up the jawline kind of like we did with the diamond face. And if you want, you could also soften the width of the forehead. You can see here in this photo that they've started the part in the middle to bring things closer to the center, so to shorten the width of the forehead. And they've added wave and fullness to the chin area to widen that out. And of course, if you have an oval face shape, you are super lucky because you can do anything you want. You can wear it long, you can wear it voluminous, you can wear it flat, you can wear it short, you can do pixie, you can pretty much do anything because your features are so proportioned. You don't have anything to soften or anything to enhance or bring forward. So you kind of have like, you're like the queen of the face shape world. You can do whatever the hell you want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this to be a very helpful video. If you liked this one, then you may find this one really interesting next. I'll see you in a few days. Bye.